Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'm going to be going over something pretty simple and that is how to get your toolbox back over here if it's gone missing. This is a common problem that I see a lot of people asking about and I actually did write an article on how to do this but I figured I would also create a short tutorial on how to fix this issue. But of course before we get into that I want to direct you guys over to my website at DaviesMediaDesign.com. As always we have tons of GIMP video and text tutorials on here as well as Project Translate. You can watch one of our GIMP playlists, support us on Patreon, or view our Poll of the Week results, so definitely check that out. You can also enroll in our GIMP photo editing course from beginner to pro photo retoucher on Udemy. And you can support our channel and help us grow by becoming a patron on Patreon, and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. All right, so the common issue here is that your toolbox basically accidentally got closed out or it never opened up in the GIMP in the first place, so now it is completely missing and you need to get it back. And this also applies to all of the other docs in GIMP, so these are all dockable dialogues here. I happen to have my layers, channels, paths, undo, and selection tabs open. Um, you can close this selection tab by just clicking on this drop down and hitting close tab. The selection tab is usually not open by default. But anyway, I'm not going to go too much into that stuff. But what you have here is single window mode and this is what comes with GIMP by default in GIMP 2.10 or newer. If you're in GIMP 2.8 or below, which I do recommend you upgrade, GIMP will automatically upgrade you from 2.8 to 2.10. You don't have to uninstall anything unless you're in a Linux operating system. But anyway, you can go to Windows and uncheck single window mode. And this is multi-window mode. This is what GIMP used to come with by default. And this just made things a little bit complicated because if you open up multiple images in multi-window mode, you're gonna have multiple canvases. This is your canvas right here. This is what contains your image. So anyway, you'll see over here, there's an X in my toolbox. So if I click on that, that'll close out my toolbox. And now it is no longer here uh, connected with the rest of your GIMP. So it's gone missing. So how do you get it back? Just go to Windows, Recently Closed Docs, and click Toolbox. And now your toolbox is back. But let's say I'll exit that out, you're in single window mode and you're still having this issue, so I'll go to Windows, single window mode. You'll see here we have no toolbox on the left, so that can be confusing. And so all I have to do is the same thing, Windows, recently closed docs, and then toolbox. And now you'll see our toolbox is right here. The issue though is that our toolbox is separate from the rest of the window. All we have to do is go to Windows, single window mode, and then Windows, single window mode again and you can always tell when you're in single window mode not only because everything is in the same spot but also because this single window mode menu option has a check mark next to it so something else that may have happened is that all of your docs disappeared so you'll see there i just pressed a button and everything disappeared what i did was i hit the tab key this is a shortcut key to hide all of your docs and only show the image canvas window i'm not really sure when this feature is useful but all you gotta do is hit tab again and that'll bring all of your docs back up. So I mentioned that this issue applies really to any of your docs. So over here, everything here is a dockable dialog, meaning I can click and drag the channels dock off, and now it's in its own separate little window. You might accidentally close one of your dockable dialogs. All you gotta do is go to Windows and Dockable Dialogs, and then find the one you just closed. So it does help to know which dialog was just closed. In this case, it was our channels dialog. So I'll click on that and that'll bring that back up here. If it opens it up separately like this, all you gotta do is click on the tab and drag it back into here, wherever you want it. You could also bring it down here if you wanted, or over here. So you can see this will sort of highlight or light up when you hover it over this area. I'm gonna bring it back to where it usually is by default over here and just release my mouse click and that drops that tab over here. So you can also open up dockable dialogs that aren't open by default in GIMP by coming over here to Dockable Dialogues and you could choose from a various assortment of Dockable Dialogues. So let's say you wanted the Palettes option, just click on that and that'll now open up your palette over here. And like I said at the beginning of the tutorial, you can configure the tabs by clicking on this little arrow and that gives you some options here. You could detach it, which I just did by clicking and dragging, uh, or you can add a new tab on here, which is from that Dockable Dialog menu we just looked at and you could choose the preview size of everything going on in here, as well as the tab style and some other options. But I'm just gonna choose the close tab option and close that down, and now we are reset back to the default setup here in GIMP. 
So one other issue is that the tool options disappears and this is the tool options down here. It shows you the options for the tool you have selected. And this is another dockable dialog. So all I gotta do is click and drag this off and now it is in its own separate location. You can accidentally close this down as well. And the way you bring that back up is the same way you bring up any of your other dockable dialogs over here. You go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and you'll see Tool Options is the very first option. So that moved my Tool Options over here. I'm just gonna click and drag this over here to the default. That way it's in the same place that it usually is. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash daviesmediadesign. You can also visit our website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in our GIMP photo editing course from beginner to pro photo retoucher on Udemy. And you can support our channel and help us grow by becoming a patron on Patreon. And I'll include all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.